I really wish I didn't have to write this sentence. But it appears that Pixar is making a movie that is adamantly and completely pro-segregation. Let me explain. Elemental is based on the four Aristotelian elements. Air, earth, fire, and water. This faux modern world is inhabited by all four elemental spirits. There's also, apparently, a guess who's coming to dinner style love story between our heroes Wade and Ember, a water and fire elemental. However, there is a problem with this basic story. This isn't Zootopia. Segregation in this case not only makes sense, but is an absolute necessity in this world. Look at the trailers. Ember accidentally burns an earth elemental by bumping into him on the train. She has to be shielded from the curtain and floor in Wade's house because it's a waterfall and a pool. That house is a literal death trap for Ember to be anywhere near. Even the smallest touch by Wade's water in the teaser has a recoil in pain. Now, this wouldn't be so bad if this wasn't being used as a rather blatant racial metaphor. Elements cannot mix? <laughs> we can see that's a bad idea from this basic introduction. And as for the love story, there is no happy ending that can possibly result without a deus ex machina. These two cannot make physical contact. When Wade eats at her father's restaurant, it shows him in physical pain taking a single bite, and it appears that Ember will have a similar reaction at his home. This isn't a couple disliking the skin tone of their daughter's otherwise unimpeachable fiancé, or even that her beloved belongs to a people that you are currently at war with. This isn't even an interspecies romance with no hope of children. This love story is full physical and biological incompatibility. I have never seen a piece of media with a clear species for races metaphor make such a clear and convincing argument for separate but equal accommodations. <sighs> I never thought I'd say that either. Just look at how there are separate benches for water and earth elementals, and air has their own section on the ceiling. Even their neighborhoods are redlined. Every interaction we see has some significant effect between the species, so keeping them separate isn't only logical. They're safe. The only people who don't have their own spot in the train are the fires? But they really should. If the train has sudden jilt and our level oaf Wade falls over on Ember, the impact could literally kill one or both of them. Now, what happened to timeless tales of us all being the same on the inside, working through our differences to a common goal? What about virtue being more important than color, that we can work together fighting for a common goal, finding friendship and even love despite monumental differences of our background? <sighs> now, am I being too hard on the children's movie? No, I don't think I am. Humans think in stories. The stories we tell influence the thoughts we think. And this story will influence how children think going forward. This is especially concerning in our current climate, where we are seeing a resurgence of racism and even academics advocating segregation. Due to my marriage, my wife and I have endured active scorn from both our communities. What was Disney thinking in this climate, introducing a fantasy world where segregation is not only obvious, but the only safe option? Now, I'm not giving up on this movie just yet. However, the introductory world building is leaving a lot to be desired, to the point that it may be the first Pixar film where I cannot find redeeming value. Thanks for listening, y'all.